Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about black holes, but specifically about our own Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole in the center of our own galaxy. Today you're going to discover what we've learned about these unusual giants in the last year or so and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So this is actually going to be a three-part video where I wanted to start by examining three relatively interesting and unusual things we discovered about black holes. In this part one, we're going to be talking about the strange, unusual filament that we saw emanating from the central black hole in the middle of our galaxy. Now, I didn't actually create a very re um, realistic black hole here. This one doesn't really have the accretion disk. It doesn't have the relativistic jets coming out because they're not really that important for this video. I wanted to just have an actual black hole with the mass of 4.3 million suns, very similar to the one in the center of our own galaxy. Now, what exactly did we discover? Well, first of all, here is actually the picture. You kind of might be able to see the little string coming out of there. And this is actually what the scientists saw and they have no idea what this is. And so I've decided to kind of try to recreate um, this particular unusual phenomenon and just to kind of demonstrate this in Universe Sandbox just to see if we can maybe just maybe uh, make it look relatively similar. So it's essentially a very unusual string that seems to pass through the black hole or possibly relatively close to the black hole and it doesn't seem to have uh, a very good explanation just yet. Well, so there's three suggestions as to what this might be. Well, first of all, we can see that it's kind of thin and it's also not particularly straight, so it does bend a little bit. And uh, for this reason, one of the suggestions is that this is some sort of a very long string of uh, magnetized particles that are basically being um, bent and shifted and displaced by the super powerful magnetic field around the Sagittarius A. If this is correct, then this also suggests that maybe, just maybe, we can actually use this particular uh, string that we, or this filament that we detected, to study the super uh, strong effects of the magnetic field around the Jadarius A, and also um, possibly even be able to predict some of the other phenomena, because being able to see the magnetic field here would be very, very, very important. Now that's the first um, sort of suggestion. I mean, as you can see, my particles already started to fall into the black hole because it's a little bit too strong for them to resist. The second suggestion is not as fun. The second suggestion basically says that maybe just maybe it's just some sort of a statistical anomaly that it really is just uh, something that occurred for uh, the time being and that many such filaments exist out there in the universe we just haven't really seen them before but this one just happens to be close to our black hole not as fun but also a possible explanation but the third one is really the one i like the most the third explanation suggests that this very long filament is um, what might be known as a cosmic string now, not exactly the so-called string theory string. This would really refer to something that is essentially an extremely long, extremely thin structure that exists throughout space and was actually created during or at, just after the Big Bang. These strings would be about uh, like one proton in thickness, but super, super dense and would be able to produce an, a huge amount of gravity. As a matter of fact, one kilometer long string would produce uh, more gravitational attraction than our own Earth. And if they're bent like this, they will produce even more gravitational field. Now, these particular um, very unusual theoretical objects have never been detected. They've been speculated about. They've actually been relatively thoroughly theoretically explained uh, using various mathematical um, models but for the most part we don't really know if they're real and if this is one either i guess only time will tell because we will need to study this particular object in a little bit more detail but we know that these um cosmic strings would actually be able to carry not just mass but also electric current and uh, the hypothesis is that usually they will 
kind of migrate toward the center of the galaxy where the uh, black hole would be. And in this particular case, maybe just maybe one of those strings got captured by the event horizon of Sagittarius A. And so now it sort of stretches all the way from Sagittarius A to the rest of the galaxy, which actually makes it kind of interesting and kind of cool. So in other words, this kind of would maybe suggest that um, out there in our universe, there's lots of these very unusual, super long, super thin objects with a lot of uh, gravitational abilities that are actually, or could be potentially used for various uh, means, including, of course, interstellar travel, because you could probably find a way to propel yourself along the string. And also, um, they would probably help us explain a lot of other phenomena, including maybe uh, things like dark matter. But for now, that's all we know. And since we've only recently discovered this um, in 2017, it will probably take a while before we can fully explain this particular object. So this is the first part uh, about unusual discoveries that we've made in 2017 regarding different uh, black hole phenomena. So in the next video, we'll talk about the second phenomenon. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to learn what else we've learned and space out. And as always, bye bye. And if you actually wanted to know how I made this, well, it's actually nothing but a normal Saturn ring. Very, very thin Saturn ring that I placed um, around the there is a star by pl first placing an object in orbit right here. And then I removed it. And this is how I made it look like an actual bending string.